Have you ever seen a cosier, more glamorous marshmallow in your life? Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and to my winter fashion month. I just decided that November should be fashion month because why not? So I have an outfits video for you today, another outfits video for you next week, and then something really exciting coming up that you will definitely want to be subscribed for and make sure you have post notifications turned on so you do not miss any of my uploads. So with fashion month on the horizon, it's a very apt time to talk to you guys about ShopTagger, the very kind sponsors of this video and literally your best friend throughout this month on my channel and beyond. So ShopTagger is a web app for your browser on your laptop, or they also have a mobile app too, that notifies you when products that you're looking for come back in stock or go on sale. So it's perfect if you're shopping at places like Topshop or H&M, where the things go out of stock quite quickly, or if you have your eye on something a little more expensive that you're not willing to pay the full price for, and you can get notified when it goes on sale or gets reduced because of a coupon or special offer. So it's basically a shopaholic's best friend, and I love it because I used to waste so much time sitting and refreshing the page, hoping it would come back in stock when I could have just had an email or a push notification telling me. So I'm going to quickly show you how it works and I guarantee that after I do most of you guys are going to want to use it because it's so cool and handy and it's free. So all you have to do to get started is download the shop tagger button from the Google Chrome web store. It's super easy and free and it just sits up in your browser a bit like the Pinterest button and then when you're browsing a website let's say Farfetch and the item is out of stock just hit the shop tagger button and you fill in all the options and maybe even add it to a list and then that's it. So when it does come back in stock or go on sale you'll receive an email and or a push notification on your browser and your mobile if you have the app and then when you go to the shop tagger website you'll see and can manage all the items you've saved and you can even group them into lists so i have a winter 2019 list and i also have a list where i save clothes i've worn that my followers love so i can let you guys know if they come back in stock on like my instagram story so it's really great for planning and organizing your shopping and they've also added an amazing new feature recently exclusively on the web app where you can use shop tagger at checkout to check for any discount codes or coupons which is so so handy so if you like the look of shop tagger i will leave a link down below in the description box so you guys can download it for free it really is such a lifesaver especially when you are a serial online shopper like me so thank you very much to shop tagger for sponsoring that section of the video and now let's get on with the outfits don't forget that i will link everything down below in the description box i do use affiliate links which means if you do choose to purchase something through my link i may earn a very small commission it does not affect you as a customer at all it also does not affect the things that i choose to show you because mostly everything is commissionable apart from Zara and you guys know that does not stop me from showing you Zara so it basically doesn't matter at all but I have to tell you because it's the stupid rules. <laughs> Angel! And let's go! So my friends here is my first outfit of today and this has probably been one of my most worn outfits of the last few weeks when it's really got a little bit chilly and like you need to cover up and I just absolutely love it. I think it's so so adorable. So first of all we've got the gorgeous tweed play suit from Zara. I picked this up in my autumn haul week and I just love it. I love the colours. I think wearing pastels in winter is hard like it can go really really right or really really wrong and this is just so right it's so festive paired with a little like pale turtleneck underneath so you look really really cute and cozy of course i popped this with my chloe drew bag because this is just the best bag in the world it goes with everything and it makes everything look good i've said it so many times you guys are probably sick to death but at least you know that i do actually wear what i have over and over and over again um and then we have my leg, so you may have noticed, in fact you may actually recognise this whole outfit from last week's video and maybe even my Instagram. Yes, I am wearing white Gucci tights. Yeah. They're probably the most extra thing I've ever bought and I have to be honest, I did actually buy these. I had a little voucher left from Farfetch, so I didn't actually spend money on these and I don't actually know if I would, even though I love them. Are they worth £85? Like, no. They're not, they're really not. They're a pair of tights. I really, really love them. And then of course I'm wearing my Stuart Weitzman boots that I bought in Palm Springs at the outlet. So unfortunately I can't link these exact ones, but I'll try and find something similar. I just love over the knee boots in winter. They look chic, they keep your legs warm. I have been wearing this beauty with this outfit to kind of go with that really neutral, like cool gray tones. This is from River Island. It's their Villanelle coat and it is very, very ultra glamorous. This is pretty much the epitome of a chic 
winter coat. I just feel like you could hardly do any better, especially for a high street price. This is gonna jazz up every single winter outfit. It's so glam, it's so extra. Next, I have one of my favorite outfits of the video, and this is not something that I've been wearing. This is just something I put together for today, um, but can you even get over how cute it is? This is like a winter sugar plum fairy look. It's so, so adorable. So first of all, we have this beautiful tall skirt. This is from And Other Stories. Um, you may or may not have noticed, because I cannot see from here on the camera, that it is in fact see-through. So I don't think I will actually be keeping this particular one. I'll have to go on the hunt for another one, but it really is a shame because the actual quality of the tool feels so, so nice. It just needs like three to four more layers, um, which is so, so annoying, or just a decent lining. I've actually popped some white tights underneath to kind of make it a bit less obvious and make it blend. And then on top, I have an And Other Stories jumper. This is a beautiful white fluffy knit high neck, the coziest, warmest thing you could possibly wear. Um, and I think they just look so cute together. It's like pairing something that's kind of traditionally more occasion wear with something that's very casual and it just really, really, really works. It's incredibly warm. We haven't even added the coat. And then of course I have all these beautiful pink accessories to just bring it to life and make it even more girly if that was even possible. So first of all, the boots. The boots. Does anyone follow that guy Rick on Twitter? You work hard, you buy yourself a new pair of boots. I really probably shouldn't have done that, so cringe, but me and JJ literally howl every single time we do it and whenever we put a pair of boots on we're like, have you seen these boots? Um, yeah, anyway, moving on. So I have these boots and I am just in love with these. I bought these with my Farfetch voucher, they are Red Valentino, which is a brand I just love and when I saw these I just was blown away and they just are so so pretty they are knee high and um, you can see my <laughs> glamorous tights underneath they're knee high um, so you can wear them with so many different outfits I also think they'll be a really good like spring boot you could wear this with like cute little white spring dresses so I think they're gonna be a really good pair of boots that I'll get a lot of use out of then of course I have my probably I really don't want to betray the Chloe Drew bag because you know it's my favourite bag, but this is a really, really strong contender. It's my Louis Vuitton Pochette Matisse. It just goes with everything. It looks adorable. I love the way it looks with this outfit. You can hold it like this, or of course you can throw it over the shoulder. You can have it crossbody if you want to keep it really, really safe. I'm also wearing this beautiful pink velvet bejeweled headband. This is from a brand called Alice and Olivia, who do the most beautiful, like, embellished headbands. So I'm going to throw on my pink Burberry cashmere scarf. Just look, it just looks so, so cute. I just love the colours and I love how it's pink and white, which are not really like you know, people don't think they're winter colours, they think they're spring colours or summer colours, but you couldn't get more wintry than this. Have you ever seen a cosier, more glamorous marshmallow in your life? This faux fur jacket is literally my pride and joy. I showed you guys this last week in my How To Look Classic and Chic In Winter video, and I said every girl needs a faux fur coat or a faux fur jacket, and this is just the nicest one I've honestly ever seen in my life. And just look at this whole look. You honestly couldn't be warmer, you couldn't be cozier, and you couldn't be cuter. It's like the perfect glam winter outfit, and I cannot wait to wear this out. <laughs> so next up, I have a much more wearable, kind of low-key, casual outfit that still looks really, really cute and stylish. So first of all, I'm wearing these really lovely, like, um, coffee-coloured suede or faux suede leggings. They're actually part of Lorna Luxe's collection within the style. They're called like the contour legging. They're supposed to be like really, really flattering. Um, and I think they're semi-flattering. I wouldn't go as far as to say like they contour you, but they are really, really comfy and I think they look much more expensive than they actually were. So I've paired it with this really, really lovely jumper from And Other Stories. I actually already have this in the like beigey camel colour and I wear it so much like last year i practically lived in it i actually envisioned the look with some ankle boots when i put the ankle boots on it kind of ruins like the nice leg of the leggings it kind of cuts you off at the ankle and it doesn't give you as nice a silhouette so i thought the loafers looked really really cute and then i've got this amazing bag from coach which they kindly sent to me um and i just think it's going to go so perfectly 
with so many winter outfits. It really reminds me actually of Josie's Pochette Matisse with the two-tone. It's two very, very similar colours um, and it gives you that kind of effect. But obviously this is much more affordable than Louis Vuitton. And I'll just show you the outfit with a coat on. So this is my faux fur jacket coat from Topshop. It's literally been my best friend over the last month or so because it's just the coziest thing in the world and it's such a great neutral colour that I can just throw this over anything and it looks great and it's just so soft. It's like leaving the house in a big blanket and this is just such an easy like wearable outfit just to throw on and leave the house. And then I just wanted to show you these boots which came in the post this morning. A very very kind gift from Moon Boot which if you guys know Moon Boots are those crazy coloured ski boots um, that I wore in Majeb. I've got pink ones. They are so so adorable for like the snow um, but these are part of their urban collection which are boots that are actually just for like the city on a really really cold day and I just think they are the cutest thing. These ones are a beautiful tan suede and they like lace up in the front which is kind of giving me frozen vibes which is so cute and they're lined with faux fur so they're going to be like the coziest things ever. Um, Next up another really relaxed casual outfit and I have fallen in love with this look because I just love the simplicity. Um, this jumper dress is so gorgeous. It's from And Other Stories, of course. They are just the best during autumn winter because their knitwear is so beautiful. It's such nice quality. Um, I really, really love that brand. I haven't really bought anything grey, like in haul week I don't think there was anything grey. Um, but I loved this because it's a really really pale grey and it just looks so wintry and snowy and festive. I love the sleeves, like it's such a beautiful simplistic design but it's not boring and it just looks so cosy and chic and effortless and I'm just in love with it and of course it's comfortable and warm. And then I just paired it with my And Other Stories boots, my white knee-high leather boots which I love and obviously if it was really really freezing you probably wouldn't be able to get away with this much leg so you could equally like wear this with tights and ankle boots if that was your thing or some over the knee boots I would never really go for tights personally I would rather like suffer a cold leg but I always think if you're warm on top like imagine a nice like fur coat over this like the Topshop one and then if your legs were a bit cold like would you really care I personally wouldn't I think if I'm warm on top I don't mind like my legs being a bit chilly but that's just me um, and I just think it's so cute it's very very 60s with like the high neck shift dress style and the knee high boots and then I just paired it with my Prada Galleria bag because I just think it's a really lovely like everyday bag it's very very stylish just because it's the Prada Galleria bag and the colour goes perfectly as well but you could wear this dress with pretty much any bag but I do really love like the structure of this bag and I kind of think it works because this is so relaxed I'm just thinking also that you could throw a little scarf over a little cashmere check scarf and it would look absolutely adorable and it just looks so like winter cozy chic and it's very comfortable and effortless I just think jumper dresses in general are such a good choice for winter because of course they're really nice and warm and cozy and they're so easy like literally dress boots coat go this is the kind of thing that I like live in I think it's a really good like investment piece because I think you'd wear this every single winter and you could literally wear so many different like coats bags shoes Ooh, maybe I should try it with the pink boots. Oh my God, they are too cute. Look at that. I love how that looks. So yeah, I think this dress is just such a great thing to order for autumn winter because you would get so much wear out of it and it's adorable. And maybe we should make mismatched boots a thing as well because I actually cannot decide which look nicer. So I kind of just want to wear both. Next, another outfit that I love. It kind of goes without saying, of course I love all of these outfits, but this is such like a classic Freddy winter outfit. Um, and I just love it. So first of all, I don't really know where to start. Um, I'll start with underneath. So I'm wearing my gorgeous M&S cashmere cream jumper. I would really, really recommend, like I said in last week's video, to invest in stuff like this for autumn winter because the quality is just sublime. It will last you. You'll get so much wear out of it and cashmere is is so thin so you don't get that big bulky knitwear feeling but it's just as warm as wearing like a huge chunky cable knit so that's why I love it because I think it looks so polished and elegant and then I've just got my Topshop Scorts on which I love sadly they have sold out of them so I would definitely recommend downloading Shop Tagger and adding these shorts to your Shop Tagger because seriously Topshop need to restock them they are the best thing that I have bought for autumn winter in such a long time I've got so much use out of them and they just go with everything. Um, I love the pleats, I love that it looks like a skirt but it's actually shorts. 
Um, I don't know why I did a little kick there. And then over the top, I have this fabulous tan cape from And Other Stories. Um, capes are something that I should have mentioned actually in my video last week. I think every girl needs a cape in a classic colour that you can wear every single year from now until eternity. I love a cape because sometimes when you're dressing for winter and you do have like a big chunky jumper on and you're feeling a bit like potato-ish already, the last thing you want to do is throw on like a big coat that's gonna make you even bulkier. And I love how a cape, you kind of just like drape over the top and it does add more warmth, but you can kind of keep on wearing whatever you're wearing underneath. You don't have to think, oh, I can't wear that jumper because it will be uncomfortable to wear underneath my coat. You never have that issue with a cape. And there's just something so effortlessly glamorous about a cape. And I love this one because it's such nice quality. It's so again it's very very thin well not very thin but it's not big and bulky but you do get that warmth so I really really like it and then I just popped my black over the knee boots on everybody needs a pair of black over the knee boots that you can wear with everything and then I have just got the coach bag with this I thought I'd double up with this bag because it does look adorable tonally it fits in and I just think it's a really really great bag I think it's gonna look so nice with winter outfits but it's also gonna look great with spring summer outfits too. But again, because this is such a great versatile color, you could literally wear so many different bags with this. Like I'm just thinking my Gucci bag would look so good with this. <gasps> yes, this bag looks so good with the outfit and it's just so easy again. Lots of these outfits are just really like throw on, they look like minimal effort, but they're just so, so effective. And then to top it off and give it a very like on-trend little flourish, I have this headband, like a padded, brown velvet headband which I'm still like deciding if I like this whole padded business it's very Elizabethan um but there is something about it that I like and it does look very like on trend and stylish so I'm going to allow it but altogether I just love this whole look it's so classic effortlessly glam and the kind of thing that you could just wear you know year after year after year Okay, so next, this is obviously not an outfit for a really, really cold winter, but I kind of wanted to consider all different types of winters because I have followers from all over. And actually this was a really great autumn outfit for me. Obviously now it probably would be too cold to wear this because of the legs. And also this jacket isn't like super, super warm, but I really wanted to check you through this outfit because I just love it. You may have seen me wear this in Paris in my vlog and also on my Instagram. But I wanted to bring it back because I'm pretty sure everything's still in stock um, and it's super duper adorable. So first of all, I have this really gorgeous um, camel turtleneck from Mango and then these shorts are from Zara. And then the jacket is something that you'll probably recognize not just from Paris, but also from my Under the Stories haul from Autumn Hall Week. And I just fell in love with this jacket. I just thought it looked so different. It's like a kind of blazer workwear jacket. And I just think it looks really, really chic. It looks really nice open, but it also looks really, really cute when you do it up. And I did actually wear this quite a lot during like September and October. And it's just kind of got a little bit too cold for me to wear this, but hopefully some of you guys around the world would still be able to wear it. It just looks so, so cute. Like. It's just really, really different. And I love the way it looks with the knee high boots, very, very 60s and retro. Um, it's quite like Parisian, I think. And then I just paired it with my Pochette Matisse just to add a little pop of color. Although I'm kind of thinking it may just look nice to go like all neutral. So the coach bag again, is perfect. I told you this is a really really good bag. It's just great colours that will go with everything. And then I also have this gorgeous bag which is the bag that I originally wore with this look in Paris. It's by a brand called LRM Goods and they like personalise these bags. It has like a cute bamboo handle, a little bit Gucci-esque. So I actually think if you've got like a really good thermal on underneath like a turtleneck and you could always throw on a scarf to add an extra layer of warmth and of course gloves. These are my gorgeous new ones that I got from M&S. They're like faux suede and faux fur and they're so, so cozy. So yeah, actually, I think if you just popped on some like brown over the knee boots, then it is a really, really cute, like Parisian chic winter outfit. So next up is something a little bit different for me. As you guys know, I don't normally go for a midi skirt, but I thought this one was very different. This is from River Island and I just thought like the faux leather and the cool belt kind of made it a little bit more like funky and less grandma-ish, which is how I usually see like long skirts. Um, but I really, really like this one. I love the color. It's such a versatile neutral color and I think it looks much more expensive than it is. Um, and then I just paired it with this really cute little um, knitted like short 
short sleeve jumper from Free People in this really lovely like light camel colour. Again, you could pair this with so many different things. It would be like a wardrobe staple. Um, and I think the colours complement each other very nicely. I've also got my mulberry bag, which is this beautiful like blushy, like a blushy nude brown. I never know what colour to call this. It kind of is like a rosewood colour. I don't know what that even means. Um, but I always find like I wear this bag more in autumn, winter rather than summer. And it's a really lovely everyday bag. It's really, really big. You can also pop the sides out you know, like a more classic mulberry shape. I feel like that's a little bit more recognisable. Actually, this bag has been really great for autumn winter outfits just because of the colour. It tones in so nicely with like my autumn winter colour palette. Um, so yeah, really love this bag. And then the boots are my Zara boots that I bought like in spring last year. I must've got them in April. The boots went out of stock, but they've now brought them back, which is amazing because they're literally the nicest boots. They look like either little riding boots or little ice skates. I just love them. They're so unusual and the colour is great again because it just tones in so nicely with the whole colour palette. And then I added the headband for a little bit of like trend, although I'm not entirely convinced. I'm just going to try without the headband. Oh, now I feel like it looks boring without the headband, so I'm just going to get that back. <laughs> um, I'm actually furious because as you can hear, fireworks have just started. Right, so I'm gonna have to wrap this up now because of those annoying fireworks, but I think this is just another really lovely example of a cute, classy autumn winter look. Um, you can go with this if it's not too freezing, really easily adaptable if it's cold. Just take like a longer turtleneck, nice little like faux fur jacket like this one or my Topshop one, and maybe even some brown suede over the knee boots so you have your legs covered as well. Um, and then it's like the most perfectly warm, cozy outfit, but still super duper stylish. Now the fireworks have stopped. So guys, for the final outfit, I have something really, really casual and wearable. I have been living in this outfit over the last few weeks. These leggings are so, so comfortable. They're from Topshop. They're a really gorgeous, like faux leather and this really nice off-white color. And they are just the most comfortable things ever. I've literally been wearing them like in the house. And normally if I'm not going out of the house or as soon as I've got in from being out, I'm the person that in three seconds will be in my pajamas or my loungewear. I just love to be comfortable at home. And I've actually been wearing these at home, like to lounge around in. They're amazing. And they also have like a little bit of like a fleecy lining. So they're actually really cozy as well. I think people would think that like a faux leather would be quite a cold thing to wear but they're not because they have this gorgeous like warm soft lining. They're amazing. And I just love like how versatile they are and they just look so like casual, but they look cute because of the color and the fabric looks good. They look more expensive than they are. And then I've just popped on this little Zara jumper. I'm not sure if they still have this. If not, I'll find like an alternative, but it's pretty basic. It's just a high neck, you know, cream little knitwear. And then I've just got these cute little Topshop boots on as well. And um, I've been wearing a lot. They're a really beautiful kind of like taupey, color in a faux croc and I really like the heel it has a really little like feminine stylish heel and they just look really nice um, and then of course with this outfit I've just put my Chloe bag but this is the kind of look that literally any bag would look good with like any bag that I've shown in this video so far would look good with this outfit and yeah this has literally just been my everyday go-to throw on outfit minus the bag of course because it's new but this will be the new addition to it um but yeah I love this little jacket it's very very affordable like compared to for example, the Aparis one, is it Aparis or Aparis? I'm not sure, but it's really, really lovely. It's a little kind of like off-white champagne almost color and it just goes with everything and it just always looks cute. So yeah, I really like this outfit. It's just been so easy to throw on. Like when you don't really want to think about what to wear, I know that I can just like go to that and it's gonna look cute and I'm gonna be warm as well. And I think before I go, I just need to give this bag a moment because what a spectacular bag. It's gone with every single outfit almost in this video. Um, just what a great investment. So yeah, thank you, coach. <laughs> so guys, that's the end of the video. I really hope you liked the outfits and don't forget to join me next week for the next installment of Fashion Mum. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye.